of August Hockey News, free agent and Stanley Cup champion Nick Cousins has new re- No, not this! Nobody asked for this! No, 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 this! Austin Matthews is captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs! <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're definitely talking about that! And the news broke when we all thought it would, Monday, August 12th, at about, like, 7 Eastern. Why? I don't know. Reasons? I... Who knows? Who knows? Maybe they'll tell us tomorrow. Here's how it all broke down. TSN's Darren Dreger says expect the Toronto Maple Leafs to name Austin Matthews captain on Wednesday. Oh, they're gonna make us wait two days for this? I thought they said two... Oh, alright. Well, they're gonna make us wait till Wednesday, August 14th. Okay. Expect the Toronto Maple Leafs to name Austin Matthews captain on Wednesday. This is part of the evolution of Matthews as a leader and current Maple Leafs captain John Tavares fully supports the change. Save that. Tavares has been heavily involved in the process with Brad Treliving. Save that. And then reporter Chris, Chris Johnston, who just uploaded a new August episode of the CJ Show. <laughs> Where they- hey, they talk about other stuff. They talk about everything else. Shut up and listen to the show! Like, please, please listen to it, it's August. Can confirm this report from Darren Dreger. Oh, confirmed! In August confirmed! The move comes after extensive internal discussions that began after the team's playoff loss to Boston. Save that. And then, of course, he tweets, The Leafs have called an 11 a.m. press conference on Wednesday where they will officially unveil Austin Matthews as the 26th captain in franchise history. Name the other 25 in order. Go. Not even chronological. Alphabetical. Don't get one wrong or you're out. Comment section now. I'll know if you cheated. Okay. Uh, I mean, this is huge. And it's not totally unforeseen. And I really like the move. So, right off the bat, I think it's important to get this out of the way. A lot of people are going to paint this as John Tavares getting stripped of the sea. That is, given the information that we know, wrong and a lie? Getting stripped of the captaincy is when you are stripped of the captaincy. I, I feel like that, shouldn't that, don't, are we all not adults? When you are stripped of something, it is, you have it taken away from you. You are the captain, crip, you are no longer the captain. Why were you stripped of the captaincy? Maybe you stink, maybe you're a bad guy, I don't know. It's happened. Maybe it just plain doesn't work out. It's happened. Sometimes teams have a rotating cast of guys. The San Jose Sharks in recent memory just kept giving the captaincy to different people and keeping the old captain on the team. It's Joe Thornton, no, it's Patrick Marlowe. Is Joe gone? No, Joe's still here. It's no longer Patrick Marlowe. It's Joe Pavelski or Joe and Pat gone? No, they're not. Were they stripped? I don't know, but John wasn't, and I know that for sure, or at very least based on the information that we have, for sure, because the dude that we learned this news from verbatim said, John Tavares fully supports the change. Tavares has been heavily involved in the process with Bradshaw Living, and good for John. If you listen to the podcast, if you listen to the podcast, by the way, this is why. Because we have been calling this for months. Well, he didn't necessarily predict it would be on a Wednesday in August, but we've called it for a long time now that if the Leafs were ever going to do this, this is how you do it. You don't strip John. You don't take it away from John. John graciously gives the C over to the deserving Austin Matthews. When John Tavares got the captaincy of the Toronto Maple Leafs several years ago now, it was a little confusing, but understood. Because a lot of us thought it was gonna be Austin Matthews, and then pictures leaked where he, like, might have had a C on his chest, but you, you don't know, you're not sure. Then, and I have to bring this up because it is definitely part of the story, Austin Matthews was an idiot in Arizona, remember? With an incident that I think happened in May of that year, and the Leafs didn't find out until the season had almost begun. And the news broke, like, the week they named a captain. I'm sorry, but if they were good name him the captain then? Ah, uh, you're not the captain now. The Leafs the whole time said, nope, 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 John Tavares was always supposed to be the captain. Eh, you can believe that if you want. I am skeptical. Making John Tavares the captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs was the right decision at the time. Now, it's a few years later. What's going on? John Tavares is getting older. Is he worth 11 million dollars? No. He's 33 right now. Is he gonna be 33 when the season begins? No, he'll be 34. Is he better?
bad. No, most players who score 29 goals and 65 points in 80 games aren't bad. And two points in seven playoff games. <laughs> to me, I look at John Tavares and I still see an incredibly useful player who is, yeah, making too much money. He is. He's also aging exactly how you would think someone would over the course of his contract. And listen, if John Tavares wants to remain a Toronto Maple Leaf because he is an unrestricted free agent at the end of this upcoming season, this is one of the things, in fact, this is the first thing that you need to do in order to be able to do that. Be a gracious team player and transition the role of captain to somebody else. Now, who is that somebody else? It's Austin Matthews, who is arguably, not all that arguably, the best Leaf ever. That's with some debate, depending on who you talk to. Okay, let me take all debate away. He is the best Toronto Maple Leaf since their last cup. That is to say, he's the best Toronto Maple Leaf of the modern era. He is the face of the team. He is one of the faces of the league. The Selkie Trophy. Every year, he's going to be top 10, top 5, maybe even win the thing. The Hart Trophy. Every year, he's going to be top 10, top 5, maybe even win the thing. The Rocket Richard Trophy. He's going to be top 5, top 2, probably win the thing. He had six. 69 goals last season. And because it was one less than 70, he was probably mad about it. I mean that and they lost in the first round again. Despite the fact that he missed parts of this series with an illness and an injury, Austin Matthews still led the Toronto Maple Leafs in scoring in their seven game series against the Boston Bruins. That and they started a far inferior goalie to Joseph Wool for some reason. But that's revisionist history, we can't do that. If ifs and buts were candy and nuts, the Leafs would probably choke on that too. The, pro the point is, Austin Matthews is the guy. He's not close to not the guy. Do you, do you understand? Okay, you know how last season William Nylander was stupid, ridiculous, preposterously good? Played a full 82 games, had 40 goals and 98 points. That's stupid good. He had 29 fewer goals than Austin Matthews. You know what was third place on the Leafs in goals? 29! John Tavares finished third on the Leafs in goal scoring last season. That's good. That's really good. And if you doubled his goal scoring total, he still would have been 11 shy of Austin. Alexander Ovechkin is probably in short order, either this season or next, depends on what happens, going to take over the crown of the greatest goal scorer in NHL history. He's going to pass Wayne Gretzky for the most goals ever. But right now, Austin Matthews is the undisputed, like clearly undisputed best goal scorer in the entire sport. And on top of that, on pace to beat Alexander Ovechkin. Now, will he do that? Ah, uh, meh. He's currently got 368 career goals, which is dumb, but it's also like uh, 500 behind Ovechkin. But on his resume, he's already got the Calder, three Rocket Richards, a Hart, and a Ted Lindsay. This is the best leaf ever. Currently in his prime and getting better every single season. On top of being the undisputed goal scoring king of hockey right now, he's usually at least in the conversation for the Selkie Trophy for best defensive forward. He's always up there in shots and recently he's gotten up there in hits and blocks. Austin Matthews is the best player on the Toronto Maple Leafs, their biggest star and their heartbeat. Full stop. Now, any team of championship quality needs more than one player and we know that. But on this team, if you had to pick one player, it's this one. Now, we talked about John and stepping aside and doing the right thing, and he is doing the right thing. And I do think there is a decent chance that he signs an extension with the Leafs. Do I think it's gonna be $11 million? <laughs> no. Do I think this will lead to a trade? No. It's possible, anything's possible, but I don't think so. But the optimist way of looking at this is this is a good thing. This is the way things should be, and this is the way it should have been done. Full marks. Oh, what if what if you're a pessimist? Because what, what was that line from CJ? Can, can, can we put it back up here? What was it? Can confirm this report from Darren Dreger. No, not that one. This move comes after extensive internal discussions that began after the team's playoff loss to Boston. Ah, right, because they lost to Boston, again. They had a third period lead in game seven and choked on it for the third time in four tries. You might be like, the third time in four tries? Oh yeah, no, no, the, the other one, they didn't even, they didn't have a lead in the third period. They, were, they got killed. To be fair to Austin, he's only been there for two of the three times this has happened. The pessimist way of looking at this, not even the pessimist, the skeptics way, of looking at this is, okay, so you're gonna take that pretty little piece of fabric from John Tavares' jersey and you're gonna put it on Austin Matthews' jersey and then you beat Boston and Tampa 
and Vegas and Florida and all of them and you win the cup five straight times. You don't need to be that sarcastic. I guess the skeptic's way of looking at this is, okay, he's the captain, okay, he should be the captain, what does it actually change about the team? The answer is on paper, nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing. Other than on the paper, there, there will be a C. There will be a C and I think quotations around the C, possibly an A next to Tavares. I'd be surprised if he goes from captain to no letter at all, but you never know. I know based on the reaction, some Leaf fans were hoping that they would do something uh, to the roster instead of just naming Matthews captain. What does that do? Does that really do anything? Now, as a guy who's been pretty vocal about breaking up the core four, for this team to do anything worthwhile, uh, I, I do think this does something actually. Part of the reason that I want the core four broken up is you gotta send a thunderbolt, a lightning bolt through that locker room. You do. Oh, they're so close. They are very not. You've maxed out at five wins. You need 16 to get the cup. Stop saying you're close. Oh, well, we keep losing a really good team. Oh, I oh, like playoff teams. It's not an excuse. But I will say, this does change the dynamic of the locker room. You know those videos you see where like the Leafs get a big win and then Tavares has the puck and he's gonna give the puck to someone and he's like, all right boys, okay and all right and I'm John. And it's cool and it's nice and it's all right. But sometimes I'm watching it and I'm like, would have been better if someone else said it. Is it a different voice in the room? No, it's the same voice in the room, but it's the same voice with a different position. Now Austin has to be the one who speaks up. Austin has to be the one to challenge his guys. And it's worth mentioning, I. I think that gets harder and harder to do as you age when you have John's contract. You know, hey guys, we're not doing enough. And I'm not saying any of the Leafs thought this, but on a grumpy day, they might be like, you know what? You make $11 million and you're not even on pace for 30 goals. How about you get out of my face? Austin Matthews tells you to play a little bit better. You say, yes, sir. What, what, what are you, better than him? <laughs> no, you're not, you're not better than him. If you're lucky, you're a quarter as good. Like last season, remember how jacked we were for Bobby McMahon and like how good he was? And like Matthew Nyes and oh man, that kid's gonna be really good and like how jacked we were for that kid like as he progressed throughout the season. If you took their goal totals from last season, combined them and doubled them, they would be nine behind Austin Matthews total! That's not a shot! These guys, they're good! They're good! He is the guy. No one's above him. No one and it's not close. You can't tell me it doesn't change things a bit when arguably the best player in the world, definitely the best player in your team, definitely the best goal scorer in the world at minimum, tells you to do something. Tells you to live up to a standard and then he is able to live up to and surpass that standard. And it's worth mentioning, it takes more than one leader on a hockey team. John's role as a leader on the Leafs changes and evolves just like Austin's. Mitch still has to be a big part of all this. Morgan Riley still has to be a big part of all this. William Nylander, you are not just getting paid to show up. Like he's gotta be a big part of all of this. They have a bunch of experience in there now. Chris Tanev, Oliver Ekman Larson. A winning team requires a lot of different voices and leadership. So. What do you think about this move? Leave a comment in the comment box down below. You got like 36 hours before the press conference to talk amongst yourselves. What do you think? Do you like this decision? Is this the way they should have done it? Should John Tavares be the captain going forward? Should Austin have been the captain the whole time? Should it have been a different name? Ooh, how about this? Does this even matter. Of course I think it does, but I've already told you that. What do you think? Let me know in the comment box down below. This was a fun one, an August one. Maybe we'll have another one coming up soon. For now, that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends. I got a brand new book coming out October 15th, Hockey Rants and Raves with Harper Collins. If you'd like to pre-order it, I would like that very much. Link in the description down below. It's going to be a big one.